Hello Aries, sorry it's been a while. I am back now though. So I'm going to see what the current updates are. Um, just whatever the cards wanna say, just whatever the current energy is. I'm unbiased here. I'm not for or against any particular outcome. Uh, this is just whatever, whatever is currently going on in your life. It's often regards to love, so this could be an ex, a new person, someone new coming in. Just whatever the cards want to say about this. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Listening, understanding, new perspective. So some kind of energy shift here. Uh, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging, true love, potential life partner, waiting, hoping, praying. So what I feel from this spread is that you've already met your life partner or you're about to meet your life partner this year and your spirit, you've come a long way. Like you've done a lot of healing work, but your spirit guides basically just want to say, you know, when this does come in, don't sabotage this out of fear because this isn't, this isn't going to be like anything that you're used to. So I feel like some of you have the habit of trying to control or predict things, you know, being in your head a little bit too much, overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, and your spirit guides are basically saying that either this just has come in or it's going to come in for you this year. And they're just saying, don't self-sabotage it. Don't get stuck in your head. Don't, don't cling to the drama. Don't create problems that aren't there. Um, I feel like you have this this new perspective that's trying to come in here, this this breakthrough, this freedom, like you see this this man or woman on on this card, like this bird coming out of his or her chest. It's like, and it looks like they're like, it looks like this person's like, you know, they're not dressed in a traditional way either. They're just kind of being true to themselves. You know, it looks like they're dancing somewhere too. This is like a very free spirited energy. And it's like this breakthrough. It's like someone that's just letting go of society's standards and traditions and fears and um, anxieties and everything and everyone that's been holding them back. It's like you're having this 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 beautiful breakthrough finally coming in for you. Um, it's going to lead to this new perspective where you're going to be able to listen and understand things that you you couldn't grasp before. You couldn't understand them fully before. But now you're going to come back to certain things and you're going to understand them because you're going to have this higher perspective. You're going to have this, this new sense of freedom and understanding. Um, it's just saying that, you know, when this, when this true love does come in, for, like, like I said, for some of you, this person's already come in. For some of you, you guys are already dating this person or you're at least talking to them. And you can kind of get this sense like, hey, this is different. This is unfamiliar. Um, it's all green flags. Maybe you're used to it being mostly red flags or you're just used to things being toxic or codependent. And with this person, it's just like it's, it's green flags all the way. And, and like I said, it's either you just met them or you're, you're currently talking to them or you're meeting them soon. This year, I feel for you guys. And it's just saying don't self-sabotage because it's, it's not going to be like anything from your past. It's it's going to be a lot different. And I think it almost might scare you a little bit. It almost, you almost might overanalyze it because you might think like, is this too good to be true? Like, why is it so normal and healthy and stable? Some of you might even have some small desire to go back to the old patterns because there might be like that, you know, addiction to, it's like a subconscious addiction to drama or chaos or you know these childhood wounds that keep repeating these like subconscious patterns of, of going for men or women that are emotionally unavailable or abusive or just like the, these one-sided relationships and then you're going to find yourself in this you know dynamic here where this person is all about you or this person just puts you first this person 
is just crazy about you and it's going to feel different. Like, I mean, even though you've been manifesting it for a while, when you actually have it, you're going to be like, wow, this is like, this is real. This is right in front of my face. Like, you know, it's, it's going to trip you out a little bit. And I think your spirit guides are basically just saying, like, continue to step out of your comfort zone. Continue to be committed to this free spirited energy. Continue to be committed to the kind of life that you that you want, the kind of life that you're trying to manifest right now. Um, continue to end these patterns and cycles. Because, like, for some of you, when this comes in, you're going to want to run. Some of you are honestly going to want to run because you're going to be like, this is too healthy, it's too normal, it's too stable. This is unfamiliar. This might be too good to be true. Like, it's like, it's it's just going to be so unlike any kind of relationship you've ever known. The way you communicate, the way you interact, all of it is just, it, it might scare you a little bit, even though it's going to make you happy at the same time. Um, some part of you might almost feel like something is missing, like something is just off, like, like, I mean, and, and I don't want to say it like that because, I mean, you need to listen to your intuition. Like, if there's red flags, listen to those red flags for sure. I'm just saying don't create red flags out of thin air. Don't create red flags that aren't there. You know what I mean? Like, if, if things are too perfect, I mean, if things are really good, don't just be like, oh, what if this is boring or what if, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't sabotage things is what I'm saying. Like, listen to the red flags if they're there. But... For a lot of you, I feel like it's just going to be green flags, but you're going to be scared because, you know, you're just, it's just not going to be what you're used to. So you're going to think like, well, maybe it's a trick from the universe. Like maybe this really is too good to be true. Or maybe like there, there's got to be something wrong with this person. You know what I mean? But it, it's like, and they're not going to be perfect, of course, but it, it's like, it's going to be a, a healthy relationship where it's equal give and take there's a there's a mutual energy exchange here so it's kind of saying like don't don't test this person don't push this person away don't sabotage this don't go back to your old patterns and you'll know like you have to trust your intuition too like if this is your potential life partner like you'll know i'm just saying that in the beginning if you're not used to being treated well it almost might, um, it might almost confuse you. Like, let's say that you're used to, to, um, let's say that you date men, for example, this could be male or female either way, but let's say that you date men and you're used to having to pay for things in the relationship, or you're used to men that don't want to drive very far to see you. And then all of a sudden you have this guy that is willing to drive hours to see you, or this guy that's willing to, um, you know, just sacrifice for you, or he's willing to, um, like he just, t you know, takes you out, like, and, and you're not used to guys doing that. It's like, don't sabotage because of something like that, just because you're, you know what I mean? Like, don't think like, oh, he's like buying me dinner all the time. Like he's doing all these nice things for me. Like maybe he just wants something. Cause it's like, you know, in this situation, I mean, if this, if this is your story, if you're resonating with this and it's like, you know, get used to being treated well. I don't, um, I'm just trying to find the right, 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 right way to word that. It's like, just get used to being treated well, accept the love that you want when it comes in. You know what I mean? Like if you have someone that's texting you first and not playing games with you and, you know, they're showing up for you and they're showing you that, that you want, that they want you, you know, don't let your fear get in the way of that just because you've never had someone that's been emotionally available for you like that before. Um, you know, use your intuition, of course, balance, but it's like, it, there's just a strong warning here that, you know, that your person is probably not going to be your usual type. And sometimes too, if you have a habit of going for people that are emotionally unavailable, it's like you almost can't trust people that you're completely physically attracted to right away because it's just body language basically and it's like these subconscious patterns from childhood repeating and so it's like you're going for the same person again and again and again but just in different bodies like the same narcissist the same sociopath the same you know one-sided or codependent relationships or whatever your pattern might be and so your guides are really pushing you to end this pattern 
And I think that they couldn't have brought this love to you before because you probably would have friend zoned this person. You probably would not have resonated with them at all just because like it, it wouldn't, it would, it would be too unfamiliar. It would be just too out there for you. Like you wouldn't, like you wouldn't be attracted to them or you would, you would, there would be something there. Like you would feel like something was off or missing because you're not, it could, because, you know, for some of you, like, you know, home is what feels like home to you is toxic for some of you. You feel me? So it's like, you have to, you have to, if you have that pattern, you have to work on that. And it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's not easy, but, but you have to, um, develop this new definition of what home is, of what home feels like to you. I hope that makes sense. And if you need clarification, just comment below. Um, or if you want a private reading, just email me. My email address is below. But, but basically, like, your, your type might not, I mean, your type might be toxic. Physically, mentally, emotionally, you might, your, ty your type might be toxic. So you might have to go for someone that's not your usual type. And again, you know, be balanced don't create red flags that aren't there, but also don't ignore red flags if you do see them. Um, you know, try to just be logical and intuitive. Have that have that emotional balance there when you when meeting new people. And this might come in in really unexpected ways, but it's like you might not even be fully physically attracted to them at first. Like you might be like mostly physically attracted, but there might be like something like almost like a feeling of being smothered or not 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 like an obsessive way, but almost like. Like you're used to having to text and call first and then they do it first instead. And you're just like almost, you know, caught off guard by that. You're like, you know, like this person might make you aware that you, you yourself might be emotionally unavailable to some degree and you haven't even realized it because you've been going for these people that are emotionally unavailable. And it's like, they've been, I hope that makes sense. It's like, they're mirroring your own emotional emotional unavailability back to you. It's like you're there. There might be like some subconscious reason that you've continued to go for people that are emotionally unavailable. And I know that you would never consciously do that, but subconsciously you might have been doing that just because it's it's like it's safe. You know what I mean? And then, but when you have something real, when you have like true love, like marriage, home, family, like forever. It's, it, you know, having that right in front of your face in the physical can, can trigger you and can make you realize that, you know, maybe you do have some commitment issues that you weren't even aware of, you know? Um, and this isn't for everyone, you know, if this is, this is either your story or it isn't, but, um, you know, just take what resonates and apply it to your life, um, properly, but, <sighs> But basically, like, sometimes you just, you have to keep stepping out of your comfort zone. You have to just, you know, it might be, it might be scary. It might be unfamiliar at first. It might be, um, that attraction might have to develop genuinely over, over time, over a period of a few months or, or longer, um, as you get to know them, like, as a friend, as that soul connection develops, it's like a soul level attraction. And then the physical attraction deepens, you know, as you go. Um, but for some of you, it's like, you can't trust people that you're physically attracted to right away. And, and like I said, sometimes for some of your spirit guides wanted to bring you love a long time ago, but they just knew that you were in this, these toxic cycles and that you would have sabotaged it and friend zone this person. It would have just been too unfamiliar. So you're at that point where you've mostly healed. So they think you're ready for this, but like at the same time, you are going to, you are going to be triggered by this. You are going to be scared. It is going to be unfamiliar. It is going to, there's going to be the, the fear of the unknown. Um, and you'll have to push through that, you know, because this is the, the love that you've been waiting and hoping and praying for. And it's like, some of you have been waiting so long too, that when it comes in, it's like, you're not going to believe it. You know what I mean? It's almost like you're going to question it and and think like, okay, it couldn't be that easy. Like I've been waiting for this for years and you're telling me my true love. Like I just met them at the coffee shop yesterday. Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of energy where you're like, what, like, this is really happening. Or like, is this, is this real? Like, 
So it's just basically the, the gist of this reading is just don't sabotage it. If it's coming, you know, whether it was a week ago or a month ago, or if it's just, you know, current, or if it's coming in a month from now, when this does come in, and if this is your energy group, then it is coming in, I feel, then, you know, don't, don't go back to the old patterns, like stay committed to this life that you want. And it will be uncomfortable at first. It's, it's not, it might not feel, it might not feel or seem the way that you want it to at first, because it's, because like I said, you're, you're rewriting these patterns, you're, you're changing what feels familiar and what feels right to you and what you resonate with and what feels like home to you. You know what I mean? If abuse felt familiar and it felt like home and I'm not, I don't want to say abuse felt like home, but like for some people, it's like, if you've known that in childhood, sometimes it's like that just feels, it just feels natural and just feels familiar. It's like, it just feels comfortable. Even though you don't like it, it still feels like all you've ever known. You know what I mean? Like I've been, I, I'm in Aries too. I've been in that cycle too. So I understand that. And I'm not saying that like you guys like abuse or anything like that. I did not mean to word it like that. I just mean that sometimes you just, you know, sometimes you just go for a certain type and that type of person feels like home to you, even though they're toxic. And so you want your, your, the, the person that feels like home to you to feel to be someone that treats you well, to, to treat you like a king or treats you like a queen. You know what I mean? Like you have to kind of change that definition of home. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, the divine, the divine is intervening. There's synchronicity here. They're leading you to this happiness, this warmth, this light that, you know, you've waited long enough for it. X the past. Make your move. Yeah, you might have an ex eventually trying to trying to weasel their way back in, but you know, be strong, be confident, and stay committed to this life that you've been manifesting. Truth and clarity. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. You might have justice come out regarding an ex. Um, an ex might you know be might choose their words and come forward and kind of confess their feelings to you um could be regarding a third party but i feel like the the purpose of that yeah i think you're gonna get an apology from someone um someone whose life is stagnant and kind of boring and numb now that you're not in it and someone who's telepathically connected to you um but honestly you're gonna have to have courage to just move forward because i don't think that you're gonna want that anymore to be honest I think you're going to be so committed to this, this new life, you know, moving away from this. You might even be moving to a new location, traveling. You might meet someone while you're traveling. You know, it's just, it's time for adventure. It's time for new things. So I think most of you are probably not going to want to give that ex a chance. Some of you will, some of you will, but a lot of you, I mean, for a lot of you, I feel like, you know, I feel like your person is going to be someone that never left. You know what I mean? Like, some of you are still waiting for someone that, like, left, but I think that your true love is going to be someone that just, like, knows what they have, and they consistently know. Like, you don't have to play games with them. And I almost feel like at first, like, you might try to play games a little bit. Like, you might try to play hard to get, or you might do what you've done with other people, and it's not going to work with them. Like, you're going to have, like, a whole new pattern, like, a whole new way of communicating with this person, a whole new way of... It just, it's just a whole new way of loving and being loved. It's a really beautiful energy. Um, someone that's going to be loyal to you, stable, consistent, you know, honest. Someone who has like an almost like an innocence to them where they just feel like they have to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's a very stable, it, it's like a king or queen of pentacles energy too. I see someone that's, that's um, just, just very stable. Could be financially stable, emotionally stable, all of the above. But someone who knows what they want, and it's like, you know, like your person, your person, honestly, to like, in my opinion, is just someone that never left to begin with. It's like, you're, and you're going to see that you're going to understand that you're going to be in this relationship and you're going to be thankful that it didn't work out with anyone else. You're going to, you're going to notice that energy difference. You're going to notice that when you're with them, it's like, you just feel safe. Like your body just like intuitively, it's like your body relaxes, like you feel taken care of, you feel safe, you feel like you can be in almost like a, 
like a vulnerable, like submissive energy to some extent, like submissive in like a positive sense, like submissive in the sense that like you can, that you can just kind of let go and just be safe and know that, that everything's going to be okay when you're with this person. So, so I'll, a breakthrough, a whole new way of loving and being loved, um, continue to end this, these cycles, these patterns, just realize that your your type your person your true love your life partner may not be your usual type it might be completely unexpected um but you know keep staying committed to this life that you want don't don't run out of fear if you know someone's right for you like if you just you know but you're scared like push past that fear you know what i mean like if if your intuition is saying hey this is like the one this is your life partner but you're like, oh my gosh, this is like so unfamiliar. This is so different. This is so like, like unpredictable. It's like push past that fear. You know what I mean? Like you'll, you're going to know you're, you're going to know. But, um, but yeah, for some, the, the physical attraction might take some time to develop for some of you. But, um, anyway, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below, um, right below this video and let's see yeah my my cash app and paypal is also below any donations are appreciated and if this resonates please subscribe thank you guys for watching